What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! Okay, I hope I pronounced this name right. Making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! Seriously, I hope I don't butcher this. We have Gungire. Yes, indeed. How about that? Gungire making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bop, do me a favor. Before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, Feel free to click away. This comes as a request from SMB, and this is actually one of SMB's three prioritized requests for the month of November for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, here you go, SMB. Hope you enjoy the show, man. SMB wanted to see me react to this song. It is, seriously, I hope I'm not pronouncing this wrong. It is Gungar with a song entitled Rotten Vegetable. Japan, why? <laughs> now, have I heard this song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, hold it. I have heard this song before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Gungair. Okay, and the video has 4,500 views. Mm, not gonna get you there, sorry. Now look, I, I'm sure the song is fine, I'm sure the video is fine, I'm, I'm sure everything is just fine. I'm just saying, 4,500 views, mm, it's not gonna get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say, are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Gungair. I, I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. Rotten Vegetable live music video. So it's a live music video. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to stop right there and say that this is a lie. Uh, <laughs> the music video, the video footage is live, yes, but the audio footage is not. Clearly not. Uh, she's on the mic talking before the vocals kicked in on the on the audio. We hear a single word she said. So, so what they did was they took live video footage and they slapped the studio audio underneath it. You know, audio goes underneath. So, it's... Kind of a misrepresentation. It, it Okay, the video itself, the video footage, yes, it's live. But the audio, absolutely not. So, a little bit of a misrepresentation. But, you know, we, I've come to kind of expect that from bands. <laughs> it, that is not always accurate. Uh, let's just start all over. Let's try again. Let's, let's give this another shot. See, she's talking in the mic, but we don't hear it. Jumping, I'm to run, 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 I'm to run
back to the string. What is you do? Could you still look beautiful? Maybe just a taste. Your blood type goes months of cash. Knowing that the knife I can't use. Your blood type goes months of cash. Knowing that the knife I can't use. They have been dominantly in halftime. I would say up to this point, 90% of the song has been halftime. While I do appreciate bands playing with feel, and I, I've, I've always said this about bands. I love it when bands do play with feel. There's also the other side of me that says, if, if you're going to play with feel, then you got to give, whenever you do switch to a different field, you got to give it its due time. And I'm sorry, two measures is, I, I, I almost feel like it's a waste of time. Like, why, why bother? If you're going to go, if you're going to go for 12 measures at halftime feel, and then two measures of straight time, right back to two measures of halftime, and repeat. I just I I just feel like that straight time was a waste. I really do. I, I just don't feel like it was given its time. It, it you blink and you miss it. So it's almost like what's the point? You know, it, you're not gonna give it a chance to really come out and shine. Why bother? Why not just stay at halftime? Here's the thing if they had stayed at halftime, would it have sounded just fine? Absolutely. They didn't have to go to straight time. Um, sometimes, and, and to be perfectly honest, this could be a situation where we have this happen. Sometimes if you do switch up too quickly, too rapidly, and, and you go back to the original feel, instead of working for the song, it can work against the song as a distraction. Now, I'm not saying that's what happened, I, I'm going to have to listen to the whole song, obviously, before I make that statement. But I, I'm saying that could be the case. We could have a situation here where playing with feel worked against the song. It We could we could be there. Um, I like the tone of the guitars. I mean, well, the guitar, there's only one guitar. Uh, I like his guitar tone. The bass tone, there is distortion in there. And... Usually, I'm not a big fan of overly distorted bass, but number one, I don't think his bass is overly distorted. It, it's heavily distorted, absolutely. But I don't think it's it's not muddy. It doesn't sound muddy. I, I can hear clear attack. So it's not muddy. It's not it's not so thick and sludgy that you can't make out you know articulate attacks. And the second thing is, with only one guitar player, it's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea to have that distortion on the bass. It's it's very fitting. So I got no issue with it. Uh, the drumming sounds good. I like I like what the drummer sound is. I like the tone that the drums are getting. Uh, mixed well, EQ'd right. Um, I got uh, other than the play with feel. I got no issue with anything. His play when he is in that halftime, he's really got that double kick going. He's got those. Uh, 16th notes and even 32nd notes going really well uh, within that halftime feel. So I, I got no issue with it. Um, vocally, I like what she's doing. I, I think what she's doing is fitting the mood and tone of the song with the grit and growl vocal. But here's the thing. Her grit and growl is not pure. It's not pure grit and growl. There, It's not even like it's not even a, a, like a ghost note or a subharmonic. No, she has notation within her grit and growl she has vocal pitch within her grit and growl it's very clearly defined you do not have to go searching hard for it it's right there uh when she does switch up to her clean vocal it's immediate uh and it's it's a very stark difference uh almost to the point of making you wonder is there if, like, if you were to close your eyes almost kind of makes you wonder if there's a second vocalist and there's not it, it's just her. Uh, 
being able to switch between grit and growl and clean vocal like that on the fly it's nice definitely talent that's for sure and she does it well so i got no issue with her vocals at all now my only real gripe about the song and, I, and the song's not over yet so i don't know if it's 100 percent gripe yet or not is the the lack of giving the straight time it's due process it's due time so if you're gonna switch to straight time then give it some time to breathe give it four measures don't just give it two measures give it four at least i don't know i just feel like switching to the straight time was kind of a waste so anyway let's let let's keep going here I chose you with confidence, but you already wrote it. Sudden ending. Should have seen that coming. Ah, <laughs> I should have seen it coming. Ah. Uh. With that halftime feel, it would it makes per with how they ended was per made perfect sense. So on the ending on the up of beat of four. Um yeah, I don't know about this one. I don't know. I have mixed feelings. Let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well there you go, folks. That was Gungeyer. I really hope I'm pronouncing that name right. Gungire with a song entitled Rotten Vegetable. This was a request from SMB, and this was actually one of SMB's three prioritized requests for the month of November for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, there you go, SMB. I hope you enjoyed the show, man. Okay, um, there's nothing to talk about that I didn't talk about during the reaction. I, I already said everything that I need to say. So I am seriously going to hit some bullet points, bing, bop, boop, and we're going to call it a day here. Uh, let's start off with the score first. On a scale of 1 to 10, I am going to give that a 6.6. .6. Yep, 6.6. .6. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay. First things first, the 6.6, .6, what does that mean? Well, a 6.6 .6 would translate to a pretty good scale rating. So overall, I think this was a pretty good song. It would also get three out of five stars and a B letter grade. So there you go. A 6.6, .6, which is a pretty good scale rating, three out of five stars and a B, not a C, not a D, a B letter grade. Now, how did I come up with that score? <laughs> so glad you asked. Okay, overall, taking everything into account here, I think this was a pretty good song, okay? It's not bad, it's not bad. They, they, there, there were some things I wasn't 100% thrilled about, but it, it didn't mean they took the song and put it down into the suck zone, okay? Now this, this is, it, overall, it's a pretty good song. Uh, the chordal progression, pretty easy to follow, really not that complicated to follow along with. It felt good, it sounded good, it flowed well, but I'm not going to sit here and go, oh my god, this was so intricate. No, it wasn't. It, a very easy progression to follow. Border, I, I wouldn't say predictable necessarily, but it's still pretty easy to follow. Um, once you hear it, you know, two, three times, you've, you've pretty much got it. 
as far as the instrumentation goes, I love the guitar tone. I think the guitar tone was one of my favorite things about the song. Uh, the guitar tone on this was really nicely done. It had the right amount of crunch, had the right amount of thrust, it had the right the right amount of of uh, turbo. I mean, it, it was it was nicely done. It had the fullness, it had the heaviness, it had the thickness, it had the crunchiness, but it didn't sound muddy. Uh, it also had, now this might be in line with the bass player too, but between the bass and the guitar, you could hear a very percussive attack, borderline metallic attack. Now that might be more from the bass than it is from the guitar, but the guitar had no muddiness in it whatsoever to keep it super clean, like almost squeaky clean. Uh, not not quite sterile, but it was, it was very, very, very clean. Um, the bass player utilizing distortion. I have no problem with bass players utilizing distortion. I utilize it myself. As long as it's done correctly. I cannot tell you how many times I have heard bass players discover distortion. Ooh, it's a fancy new toy. Look how shiny it is. And the next thing you know, they're cranking up their distortion like a guitar player. And you can't do that as a bass player. It's a lower frequency instrument. It's a lower register instrument. If you crank up your distortion like a guitar player, your bass is gonna sound muddy as hell. That wasn't the case here. He EQ'd his bass properly. A good amount of high end, a little bit of low end just to fill it out. Lots of mids. That's how you want, if you're going to use heavy distortion, that's how you want to EQ it. He EQ'd it right. He had also that, and I, I'm almost positive, he was the one getting that metallic percussive attack. Number one, he's playing with a pick. That, that, that's a big giveaway. Uh, but the way he EQ'd his, his distortion and his tone, I think that would, I think that added to it. Gave it a nice, I, I hate to use this word, but it, it gave it a nice refreshing tone. You don't always hear that uh, from bass players who are utilized distortion. It was different. I, I liked it. I absolutely liked it. Um, that was probably the high points. Okay, now the vocals. This, I'm not saying this is a low point. This is kind of a midpoint. I like her grit and growl, and the reason I like her grit and growl is because she has very clearly defined pitch. It's not a subharmonic. It's not a ghost note. You don't have to go looking for it. It's on undertone. No, there is clear pitch mixed in with her grit and growl. I like it i really do i like it when vocalists are able to utilize both and get the grit and growl with pitch and she did a she did a fine job with it um on the flip side her clean vocals they were good they were good nothing mind-blowing nothing exciting but they were cleanly done and they they were accurately done so i have no complaints about it i'm just not gonna sit there and say i'm blown away by it i am glad that we did have the, the balance that we had between the two. It wasn't exactly 50-50. I, I think she had a little more grit and growl, actually, than she had clean vocal. But be, and normally, I like the opposite. I usually like more clean vocal than grit and growl. But because she did have the pitch clearly defined within her grit and growl, having 60% grit and growl to 40% clean vocal, I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that in this situation. Now, if her grit and growl had been pure grit and growl and had 60% of the work as opposed to 40% of the, of the clean vocal, then I may have been a little turned off by that. But luckily that wasn't the case. I think vocally, I, I think she got the job done. I, I think she sounded just fine doing it. Um, drumming. I appreciate the patterns that the drummer was coming up with. I like the rudiments that he came up with. The double kick in particular, uh, very steady. Um, I appreciate also the feel that he established dominantly through most of the song with that halftime feel. A song like this at this tempo at halftime, it makes sense. I have always been a big fan of bands that play around with feel, switching between halftime feel, straight time feel, double time feel. I love it when bands do that, but I have always, always stood by this one statement. As long as it makes sense, and as long as it adds to the song as a whole. There were a few times I, I counted, I think it was, I know I counted two times. There was maybe a third time where they switched from the halftime feel to a straight time feel. 
Normally, I'm a big fan of that. But I've always said this, though. If you're going to do it, give it its due time. I'm sorry, but giving it two measures is not giving it its due time. Um, if they had made it four measures of straight time, I, I could actually see myself saying, yeah, that makes more sense. To give it its, it's twice as long, giving it twice as much, yeah, I, I can see that. And maybe even doing it a couple more times throughout the course of the song. They really kind of treat, <clears throat> they kind of treated the play with feel as an afterthought, almost like it was a mistake. And if that's the case, then why do it? Why why bother putting it in? It does, it, it, I was thinking about this. What if they hadn't had that straight time in there? What if they had just played halftime feel all the way through, snare on the three, the whole time through? Honestly, I think it would have sounded better. I, I really, and I, I cannot believe I am saying this, but I kind of wish they had not played around with the straight time feel. I wish they had stayed in halftime the whole time. Because honestly, because of the way they treated it, because the shortness of it and the abbreviation of it and the extremely sparse usage of it, only utilized twice, I think, through the entire song, it's, it's being treated like an afterthought. And at that point, if it's not gonna add to the song, then why bother doing it? I think it would have been more effective staying with halftime all the way through. And if I'm being perfectly honest, I, I don't think, I, I don't think that, I don't think it, it, playing around with feel the way they did added to the song in any way. So I wish they hadn't done it. I really do uh, because it did, it, I hate to say it, but it became a little bit of a distraction. It, it, it made me wonder why did they do it? And when are they gonna do it again? Why are they doing it twice as long? I spent so time, so much time thinking about that, that as I was thinking about it, the song is going on and on and on without me. It kind of left me behind. So I, I hate to say it, but that did happen. And as a, because of a direct result of the usage of the straight time, there's two ways to fix it. One, take it out or two, double it up. You know, make, instead of giving it two measures, give it four measures, make it more of a standout thing. Don't make it such an accidental but that's just me that's just how i feel but uh it did affect the score absolutely um i wasn't a fan of it so uh 6.6 .6. it's still getting a pretty good score was this ever gonna be up in the eights or nines absolutely not no no chance um might have been up in the sevens possibly if they had utilized the straight time a little more effectively um but i uh, and no no nines no way eights I very seriously doubt it. I think the highest we would have gotten with this, honestly, I think the highest we would have gotten with this would be like a 7.2, 7.3, maybe. But as it is, we're at a 6.6. .6. Now, is that a bad score? No, it's, it's pretty good. Remember, everybody starts at 5.0. Everybody. I don't care who you are. I don't care how big a band you are. I don't care how popular a band you are. Everybody starts at 5.0, including this band. And it went from a 5.0 up to a 6.6. .6 um the digital i get it it's 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 a thing that a lot of bands are utilizing these days i i understand it I'm not the biggest fan of it but i get it um but yeah it is what it is uh 6.6 .6, yeah i i'm i was sitting here thinking if i wanted to change it no i don't i i don't i don't feel comfortable changing it so 6.6 .6, that's where we're at and that's where we're gonna stay so let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow shall we we got 6.6, .6, which is a pretty good scale rating, three out of five stars, and a B letter grade. Take your pick, I don't care, whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoke. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope that was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.